Hey there, fight friends. Andy Cotterill here with Surrey City. Surrey is a week away from defending his BFL bantamweight title at BFL 77 against Ali Wasak on June 9th in Vancouver. Surrey, uh, it's been a long training camp. I'm sure you're nearing the end of it. How are you feeling right now? Uh, for preparation, and I, yeah, I feel great, man. That's awesome. You looked really good out there. Uh, what? When the fans are watching the footage that I put, it'll be the interview plus some of your training footage. And they'll see, if you've never seen a training camp before, when you've got training partners, this is a big camp at night, might be on top, on the ground, and then they take a turn where he's in the bottom. So there's times when they're giving and taking, and they're giving to their partners, and they're taking, and they're all helping each other out. It was really good to see that sort of, that teamwork and that camaraderie here, because this little southwestern Ontario thing where you guys come down from Toronto, the Niagara top team, and they go up there, it's really nice to watch, and it's, like you said, a lot of training partners, it's great to see you just cycle through all these different guys. Yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity, and that's the thing. Like, we, we have a good team here, and we're good training partners for each other because, you know, I'm a good training partner for, for my partner. He's going to be a good training partner back. We all develop together. We all go sure. together, and that's we have such a com camaraderie here and uh, high level, too, and uh, everybody's ego's in check, and this mm -hmm. is how we all get better, and this is why we keep winning. That's right. So you're a week away. Tell us where you are in your preparations. Do you, do you have any more hard training left to go, one more hard training session maybe, and then a, a sort of tapering off, or are you, or are you done? Uh, I said, I'm still doing a little bit of hard training right now, but I'm doing uh, more short, intense bursts, but less volume. So we're definitely bringing down the volume the last you know, six weeks. We've been doing a lot of high volume training two or three times a day. Now we're just dropping that volume down, you know, so I might go in for 45 to an hour, work hard, but that's one session for the day because now it's giving my body time to recover. And I'll sure. probably do that for another four or five days, and then, now we just, and then after that we just uh, worry about the wake up. Yeah. I think it's true to say that at your level, at the elite level fighter, which is what you are, because you're on the verge of a big organization like UFC Bellator, potentially after this fight, mm -hmm. with a good showing, you know how to fight already. So yeah, you can always learn and improve your fighting a little bit, but the fight week and the weeks leading up to that, you need to make sure your cardio is on point, you need to make sure you're physically healthy, can hurt yourself, because half of the fights you watch on TV, those are one in the cardio bank, don't they? 100%, 100%, those are the, yeah, that's, that's for the beginning of the camp starts, you know, those eight weeks out, but to be honest, man, I, I'm always working on that side, stuff outside of camp as well, you know, always working my cardio, because I find that's such a huge weapon for me, mm -hmm. I can push guys, I can push guys, I love five round fights, you know, some yeah. guys don't like five round fights, I find I like them more than three round fights, to be honest, Wow. because I can, I know I can start breaking guys down, so uh, that's something, I got instilled with me as a young as a young athlete with my coaches. Like cardio, cardio is important, and we've always been developing. Nice. So let's talk about your opponent, Ali Wazak. You fought him before. Uh, you beat him, I think, TKO fourth round. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what's the difference now? Why the rematch? Why does he deserve it? Why are you going to win again? Is it going to be the same way you're going to win? Um, he deserves it because you know he came. He he won a two fight winning streak. He, he got his wins. I got my two wins. He's a top guy in the promotion. And again, like. The big reason I took this fight is because it's going to be UFC Vancouver, you know, like there's mm -hmm. going to be a lot of eyes in Vancouver, there's going to be a lot of UFC and uh, this is the matchup I was offered, um, you know, this, this is the highest level matchup I possibly could have got and again, it's just an opportunity, I want to take this sure. opportunity and uh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to do a much more dominant performance this time. To be honest, when I watched that fight with my coaches, even though it was a stoppage and, and I won, that wasn't the performance I was looking mm -hmm. for and even we sat down and we, we looked at the fight and we said, Suri, this isn't as good as you could be, sure. so it's going to be a different version this time through. So I asked the question to Xavier Nash just a minute ago, uh, same question. You said it, so you're fighting June 9th. June 10th is UFC in Vancouver, uh, where a couple of Niagara top team fighters are fighting. So well, there's probably going to be UFC people there. Dana White possibly watching you, Mick Maynard, Sean Shelby, mm -hmm. those guys. Does that add any extra pressure onto you, knowing what they're going to be watching? Um, no, it, it doesn't add pressure, man. It just gets me more excited, to be honest. Yeah. I, I, I've always felt like I was an, like, I wanted to be some kind of entertainer, some kind of person where like you know the bigger the audience, the more I rise to the occasion. Like, sure. That kind of stuff. It gives I have butterflies right now, man. It really, That's really awesome. excites me, man. But like the bigger, the bigger the moment, the more I feel like I can rise to it. So it, it's exciting. It's very, very exciting. That's why I made sure I left no stone unturned for this, uh, for this fight. Well, I'm excited to watch. I'll be there. Hopefully, knock on wood. Uh, I'll be there to watch you and the UFC. Uh, congratulations on all here on your hard work. Last thing before we go, is there anybody you'd like to thank? Anything you'd like to say before we go? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, my gyms, uh, Aegis MMA, Niagara Top Team, BTC. Um, all my training partners this camp, you guys, uh, you guys made me be ready for this fight. Awesome. Well, uh, Serhi, super excited to watch you fight next week. Good luck, and it's going to be a hell of a fight, I'm sure. And all the best from MMA. Thank you. Thanks, fight friends. Make sure you watch BFL 77. If you want to watch Serhi fight, go to MMA.ca in the BFL 77 page. I've got links for how to buy tickets there. It's a sold-out event, but there might 
As always, become tickets available later on, and you can get the pay-per-view pay link there as well.